Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create clip angle connection in Tecla old version. Just like this. Okay, let's start. To open Tecla structures, double click on this icon on your desktop. Environment, you need to select US Imperial, Roll, Steel Detailing, Concretion, Steel Detailing. Then click on OK. Next, click on New Model. Let's take model name, New Model Tool and the model template steel detailing and model type single user then click on ok click on this 3d view then click on this arrow to open 3d view now close this window and click on here and drag it and click on here to maximize this window like this okay now we're going to create column so click on this icon create column and pick the position at here to create column and click on here to create one more column right comma interrupt now we're going to create beam so select this icon create beam and pick the first position at here and pick the second position at here to create beam like this right click on interrupt click on space right click on mouse you you can see you'll get like this columns and beams okay now we're going to see how to create clip angle connection between column to beam so go to application components by using the shortcut control f and in search bar you need to type 141 then click on here search you can see you will get this component clip angle 141 connection to see in the thumbnails you need to click on this option thumbnails okay you will get like this now click on this component and pick the main part as a column and pick the second part as a beam to create the connection between column to beam like this now close this window right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse zero. use the shortcut control r and pick the rotation point at here you can rotate like this with the mouse left key by default we have the connection like this now we're going to edit this connection as we required so double click on this connection you'll get this window like this now zoom out and zoom in here now we're going to rotate this view like this you can see now we have the gap between this column to beam so now i'm going to edit this gap at here from this option from angle edge to beam edge let's take here three by four inch then click on modify you can see now we have the gap here it should be three by four inch okay let's take off inch you can see now this gap will be off inch then click on modify you can see now this gap should be off inch now go to parts tab in parts you can control this angle profile for example you can see now select this angle and click on here select this L profile and let's take L 3 by 3 by off inch then click on apply ok now click on here now i'm going to take other side angle profile also half inch l3 by 3 by half inch click on apply ok then click on modify to see the result here you can see now this angle should be l3 by 3 by half inch if you want to change the angle position you can change from these options for example click on here you can see you can change the angle position on left side you can see long click and short click similarly you can change on right side also this side long click and short click in this case we have equal legs so no need to change if you want to change you can change from these options okay now go to the bolts tab in bolts you can control the bolt size for example if you want to change this bolt size click on here primary bolts under primary bolts you need to click on here and select let's take off inch bolt then click on modify you can see now we have off inch bolt but we require 3 by 4 inch so click on here and select 3 by 4 inch bolt then click on modify to see the result here if you want to change the bolt standard grade click on here and you can change from these options as you require and you can change the tolerance value at here for whole size for example if you want to change this clip angle position you can change from here by default we have the top and the spacing between the top of beam to first bolt distance you can control from here 
If you want to place this clip angle at the middle of this beam, then click on here and let's take middle, then click on modify. You can see now this angle should be at the middle of this beam. Okay, currently we are going to take a top and uh, spacing between the top of beam to first ball distance. We are going to enter here, let's take 4 inch, then click on modify. You can see now top of beam to first ball distance should be 4 inch. Now coming to the edge distance here, uh, from ball to edge of this angle, you can enter here, let's say 2 inch and the number of balls 2 and the spacing between the two balls to 4 inch and edge distance 2 inch. Then click on modify. You can see this 2 inch indicates the spacing between the ball to edge of this angle and this 2 indicates the number of balls in horizontal direction 1, 2 and this 4 indicates the spacing between these two balls should be 4 inch and this 2 indicates the edge distance from ball to edge of this angle. If you want to place the number of balls in vertical direction 2 then you need to enter here 2 and the spacing let's take 3 inch then click on modify to see the result. You can see now we have the number of balls 2 in vertical direction and the spacing between these two balls should be 3 inch. Currently we record only one bolt in vertical direction so let's take one and remove this distance then click on modify to see the result like this. Now click on space use a shortcut control 2 for shaded view and use a shortcut control R you can pick the rotation point you can rotate like this. You can see now we have the two bolts in vertical direction on one side and this side. The spacing between these two bolts you can control from parse tab so click on this parse tab you can see now from bolt bolt distance you can control from this option let's take here 3 inch then select this clip and click on modify to see the result you can see now this spacing between these two bolts should be 3 inch from this option for example we're going to take here 3.5 inch then click on modify you can see now the spacing between these two bolts should be 3.5 inch from vertical direction from this option okay now go, go to bolts tab for example, we require 3 balls, so let's take here number of balls 3 in horizontal direction and the spacing between these two balls, let's take 3 inch, then click on modify to see the result, like this. Now click on modify, apply, ok. Click on space, right click on mouse, derive. Now use the shortcut control R and you can rotate like this. Now use the shortcut control 4 for render view, like this. Use a shortcut control 1 for wireframe like this. Okay. Let's take control 4 for render view like this. If you want to place the same clip angle connection at this location, you need to double click on this component and uh, double click on this component and then click on apply OK. When you click on apply, you will be saved these values and uh, these values in next time. Then click on apply OK. Now go to application components, we use the shortcut control F and select this clip angle 141 connection. Now pick the main part as a column and pick the second part as a beam. Now you have the connection at this location, so close this window. Right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse review. You can see, now you have the same connection at this location with the same values. You can check these values, so double click on this component, you can see now Previously we have entered these values of inch and go to the path step, this angle profile and go to both step. In both we have these values at previous values. These values will be obtained by applying this property apply ok for the next time. Okay. That's it about how to create clip angle connection in Tecla old version. If you like this video please like it and share it. If you have any doubts please comment below. For more Tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tech structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you